All right. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, and, and I mean that. All your all's uh, bosses getting you all out here. That's big for, for our fans. Big win. Really proud for everyone, everyone associated with the program. Um, we had a really good turnout for fans. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they really planned when they played Sweet Caroline there in the fourth <laughs> quarter. Uh, but, uh, you know, we had a good turnout of Golden Blue. Go, there's a lot of – the gold's obviously easy to spot. So, But I thought we had a, a good crowd for being that far away. And, you know, over 2,000 miles traveled after a really tough stretch and, and our guys' backs against the wall, a lot of negativity, a lot of adversity. And we come out here without three of our four captains. You know, Aubrey Burks didn't make the trip, who missed the game. Wyatt Milam doesn't make the trip. Garrett Green doesn't make the trip. So three of our four captains don't make the trip. Um, but we come and just fight. And, and I think it's a credit to our guys. You, you all have heard me talk about the character of our team. We got the, Our character of our team is really good. And our season hasn't gone exactly the way we wanted, you know. Um, now, part of that's because we played really good people, and I think that story continues to, continues to unfold. Um, but we've had a tough stretch. These last four, in between these, the, the bye weeks, this four-game period has been really tough. Uh, and we wanted to be better in two and two, but we went two and two. And, and now that sets us up for a November stretch. And we need some time to heal up. Uh, we got to get we got to get away and, and and rest and recover for a few days, but then we get back and that November stretch is going to be critical, and uh, how we finish is going to really matter. Um, we got to continue to win, stay in the conference race. I think that's the big picture of it. Um, I thought I thought today our special teams were huge. You know, one of the guys that didn't play today, that didn't get talked about, was Austin Brinkman, and he's as good a long snapper as there is in the country. And he was hurt. He made the trip, but he was hurt. McGuire Moss comes out in his first real action. He, I think he snapped it one time maybe versus Albany, um, but has does a great job because the three punts um, were critical. You know, Ollie had another big day. Uh, they had zero punt return yards. I think he averaged 46 on three punts, and that was huge. Um, the, obviously, the fake field goal. Late Bechtel, I call him the Swiss Army. He can do it all. Like, he uh, – he was our backup long snapper tonight. He can punt. Uh, he's a really good athlete. Played played lacrosse. Um, if you remember, we ran that fake in the in the bowl game. We came up short, and so I just said, "Hey, we're gonna run it, man. You got to score." And uh, and he got in there. So credit to him. I thought our co kickoff coverage. What about the play Zay Jennings made at the start of the third quarter? That was really good. And then the made field goal to start the game. I thought that was a that was a long kick into some win. And I credit Mike for for getting us started. Um, offensively, I thought we really controlled the game. You know, it got a little interesting late, but I thought we controlled the game. We were really efficient. Um, we had the ball for 35 minutes, um, 11 of 16 on end of possession downs, uh, four for four on fourth. We, we scored all three times. We were in the red zone. Um, you know, I thought we were really balanced tonight, too. If you look at it, 203 rushing, 198 passing. Um, Nico, I thought he did well. He handled it. And we had some different guys step up. You know, if you, Justin Robinson converts a big fourth down. Uh, Jalen Anderson can, uh, gets a big third down. I thought Jaheim White on the next to last conversion on that last drive, really, uh, we haven't used him a whole bunch in short yardage, but we used him there, and he grinded out a couple yards. Um, and so I was really pleased how we played. You know, I thought we left maybe a touchdown out there, but I thought we, we did some good things offensively and really controlled the game, and that's what we tried to do. And then defensively, our run defense was good, and we struggled versus the pass, and that's kind of been our MO this year. Um, but I don't – the, the receiver is special. You know, and the quarterback, man, he, he kept some plays alive. If you look at a lot of those explosive plays, he just scrambled around and kept it alive, and I don't think we did a very good job matching them. And if you remember, I, I think I talked on the radio on Thursday night and in the press conference on Monday about how good they were in scramble situations. And that's what happened. You know, most of their were on extended plays. But he's special. I mean, 10 for 202. Um, and, and we didn't do a great job against him, but I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to discredit him because I think he's special and it's the best we played in a long time. Best I've played in a long time. Um, and so, um, but we got to be better against the pass. We, we, we simply just have not been good enough. Uh, this year, and so we got to get it fixed. Uh, with that, I'll take questions, Greg. So, go into a little bit more on Nico. Uh, really efficient. Looks like you, boots and waggles. A lot of that. Try, try to maybe not hit, hit a couple of key passes, but mm -hmm. for the most part, really efficient on underneath stuff. Is that was the idea coming in, and how good was he at that? Yeah, well, I thought he was really efficient on end of possession downs, third and mm -hmm. fourth downs. Um, that was a that was a great throw he had on the downfield. Mm -hmm. um, to Traylon Ray, that was huge. We really needed it, and that proved to be kind of the deciding factor too. Um, 
but I thought he was calm. Um, he's so much better player than the last time he started a game. So last time he started a game was Texas Tech, you know, and that was it was that September, I guess, a year yeah. ago. And he's matured, uh, he's been patient, and he's gotten better. And, and I've said that a lot. Y'all, y'all heard me talk about that in the spring, then you heard me talk about it in fall camp. And then he showed that today, you know, and he didn't play very well at the second half of the Kansas State game, which is tough setting for him. Um, but I thought he really stepped up today when we needed him, and, and he played really well. Your pace of play through the whole game was pretty measured. Same kind of idea there. Don't want to yeah. you know, make things helter skelter. So we played really fast early, Kevin. Mm-hmm. If you go back and watch the the first quarter, well, mm-hmm. we I think we had the ball like 12 minutes in the first quarter. Uh, maybe even a little over that. We played really fast because we were making first downs. Like I think first our first five plays may have been some kind of tempo where we didn't sub. Um, so we they've had some injuries on defense, you know, and they they played the game the last two weeks much different than the way they started the year because of injuries at linebacker and interior D lineman, and. Um, they muddied up the run game. Now, we were still able to run it, but they muddied it up some. And they guessed right uh, a few times. But um, now once we got up two scores, then we started really kind of taking our time. And But we, we never took our – really never took our foot off the gas. You know, I thought the, the last drive was important. We threw it on first down, and we completed at least two, maybe three passes in that last drive. Um, and I think that we had to do that because we weren't just blowing them off the ball. We did a lot of perimeter plays tonight. We did a lot of read stuff. Um, Nico made a couple mistakes in the read game, but he also he also made some really good decisions. We had some explosive runs uh, doing that stuff. I know it's hard to see field level, but Johnny Williams is coming in for, for Wyatt. Mm-hmm. It didn't seem like he had any hiccups. Well, we had penalties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing that we haven't really done this year. Mm-hmm. And then we got we had several penalties offensively. Mm-hmm. You know, I think we had a couple holdings. And those are always hard until you see it, you know. But we had a couple holdings, a couple procedure penalties that we haven't had. You know, Yates is – we got it. The snaps didn't hurt us tonight, but they didn't help us either. And so – but I thought Johnny was solid. It's his first start. But it's not his first. You know, he played against Penn State, you know. Uh, that was kind of a baptism by fire, by fire. You know, he got thrown in against those guys and played the entire second half. Um, and then he's played parts of two or three other games. And so it wasn't too big for him. Uh, he's got a really uh, big time future here. Now we, we want to get Wyatt back, don't get me wrong. You know, we want to get him back. But but I was I was proud. I thought he prepared really well. And uh, and he was ready for the moment tonight. You know, you got your first three touchdowns on fourth down. And obviously every play is unique. But- into a game with an aggressive mindset, you know, when you yeah, we you know we try to be pretty aggressive most of the time. Like last week, we weren't very good on fourth down, and and this week we were, um, and so, you know, down there, I think the first one it was fourth and goal at the three, which that's kind of the the stopping point, and it was if my mind is correct, I believe it was uh, um, was it ten was we were we at ten. Was it 10 to 3 at that time, or what was it, or were we at 7? I can't remember. But anyway, it would have, it wasn't going to change the complexion of the game, right? I think, it, I think we were up 10, and it would have made it 13 if we kicked a field goal, and then we would have pinned them back, and they were struggling at that time, and so felt good about that. Nico ran really good, and Hudson Clement made a great play. You know, he made a great play keeping his foot in bounds, so that was big. The four, we were going to, we were going to, we were going to go for it anytime over the inside our 50 if it was fourth and two or less. And so we did that. CJ snuck through there and hit the big run. Um, what was the other touchdown? Fourth down. And that Clayton's is that a call or is that? Just oh yeah, no, we called that. Yeah, yeah, we called that. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, and we scored on that. And then Justin Robinson made a big fourth down conversion too, on a fourth and three there that extended a drive where we scored. Clayton's was that a situational call? Because you mentioned you said, "Hey, I want to run that again," or did you see something on? The no, we just we liked the matchup. We liked the matchup, um, and. We were going to call it on the fo- first field goal of the game, but it was long. I think we may have been like third and nine because we got a holding penalty, so we didn't on the first field goal. Um, but, no, we liked it going in. We, we usually carry that, and, and it just matched up this week. We wanted to be aggressive. Like, you don't come all the way over here, you know, across the country, and we were three and four. We felt like this was a critical game for us, and we needed to win. So we were going to kind of, you know, I, told our, I talked to our guys about emptying the tank. We are going to empty the tank. As coaches, we're going to empty the tank as far as effort, and uh, and I thought we did that. 
So expand on that a little bit, just the emotions of, of getting a win after a couple of tough ones. Yeah, you know what? Winning heals law, right? Mm -hmm. It heals a lot of things. And anytime you put the the effort in the in the time you invest, like you want to get the reward, and the reward is winning. Mm -hmm. And so, and I thought our guys prepared well. The hardest, the, the, the games are are fine. The hardest thing to do is really drown out the negativity during the week, and because two things happen when you have adversity within a season: is one, you can splinter; two, you come together, and. It's helpful when you do these things because you go on the road and you spend two entire days together, you know. So that's really good for team continuity. Um, and so that was beneficial to us, you know, because there's a lot of time, especially when you travel a long way, you spend a lot of time together. And so I think that helps. And um, and now we need some time off. You know, that's that's the we got a we got a critical four game stretch. A couple of those teams are playing well. I haven't seen the score, their final scores, but. Um, but we need some time off, kind of regroup. Hopefully we'll get some of these guys back and then be ready for a really strong stretch run. So it's going to ask you, guys come back, maybe I'll know more on Monday. But yeah, I'll probably know it. more. Mm -hmm. Does does Monty have me having a press conference on Monday? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I keep telling him, like, we don't need to have these during the bye week, but he don't listen. Uh, we need All something, right. to, something to write about. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think anybody pays for these during the bye week either. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, well, I'll, be, I'll be there. I'll be there, I promise. You know, the final play to uh, Anderson. Yeah, you know, to me, it's like the next man up. I, I didn't call the play going, man, Jalen's in. So what we did is we had a – we called a zone beater, and they played man, so we checked to a man beater. And I think Nico made the right progression. We ran the same play earlier in the game, and he bypassed an open guy. Um, but I think – I think he made the right progression. And then I, I was happy for Jalen. He's been a good teammate. Um, and so it's fun when guys – because he's played well in special teams. He's been on our punt return team, our kickoff return team, done a nice job. And so it's it's a positive when those guys are rewarded. And he got rewarded and, and made the play when we needed it. Okay. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you all. Y'all be careful going home.